All right, everybody, it's Killer Kitty back here today, and we're back on the FTB Revelation Patreon server. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day so far. Mine's off to a pretty good start. Um, so yeah, basically this is the... I thought it was going to die there. This is the tree that has all of the machines underneath it. So if we go down here... Yeah, you can see them all. Basically what I did is I just covered up the initial center tree and the machines around it with more wood. You know, you kind of gave it like a more realistic looking trunk. And I added on a couple branches and such. Which, you know, I think they look pretty... Pretty mediocre. I'll give it that. And I just missed that jump. They're pretty mediocre, but I think it has some charm of its own. You know, it, it's unique. I used to build in Minecraft professionally, and trees were one of my favorite things on the planet. This wasn't that great. And I'm not sure why. I think it's just that I don't want to waste a lot of time on not that of an important build. That's kind of my philosophy about it here. So, you know, I, I, I'm going to leave it as a charming little tree up here because we're not going to see it all that much but you know it is what it is i think it will be okay after all take down this crafting table so yeah all of the machines are running underneath here and i thought i was going to fall through there all our machines are running underneath here and as i was looking at these i'm noticing Oh, wait, we are producing. Okay. So we're producing ever so slightly more tree oil than we're using. Yeah. We're producing ever so much more. And it's, it, it's such a small amount, but it is there. And it makes me wonder if we need to hook up a second tree if we're ever going to upgrade these engines. But you know, we might if we ever... We definitely might want to, but we'll see about that. We'll, we'll look into it into the future. And then down this hole, you know, we did this at the end of, or towards the end of the last episode. There's just pipes running all the way down it, and a whole bunch of batteries, and almost all these batteries are completely filled with energy, which is pretty, pretty impressive. And if we go down here, I did do a few things, so... I can't remember if I showed this in the last episode. I think I did. But I just put a hopper here, threw a chest there. So now we can throw ores into there. Um, ores get into there, they get thrown into the pulverizer. And then what happens is they automatically export into here. Now what I added to this chain was the redstone furnace. Redstone furnace is... Redstone furnace. Furnace is created like this. Just a set of bricks, copper gears, a redstone reception coil, which is golden redstone, redstone machine frame, and you know, we did most of this last episode. I don't want to bore you down in it. But yeah, basically what happens is that the doubled crushed ores get put into here. They automatically get accepted into the furnace and they're pushed out here. And see, we've gotten a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, I mean, this is a not half bad. We got a bunch of tin now, which is good because we were low at the end of... Last episode, Iridium, that's pretty nice. We can sell that off to people that are doing uh, industrial craft stuff, which will be fun. But yeah, basically I'm thinking about what I want to do. And there's a whole bunch of mods that I want to get into. Some of the main ones I want to get into right away are forestry. I want to do some bees, but I know bees aren't that interesting to you guys. I like them though. Because you can get almost every resource in the game from it. Right? Like, well, what do these even give you? See, they, these give you mystical petals. There's botania ones. There's probably like a terra steel one. I probably. There's probably a terra steel one somewhere in there. But you know, it's not bad. Bees interest me. But botania is also a really fun mod that I think we would get a lot of um, enjoyment from early game. Because there's a whole bunch of cool items that we could play around with. And I think I'm not going to go for any other versions of Flight. Because I think Batania's version of Flight is the most balanced. And it's quite 
hard to achieve. It's called the fugal. Fugal? Wait, uh, Tiara. You guys are watching me though. Oh, FL. Flugal. Flugal Tiara. But it requires Gaia Spirits. And Gaia Spirits require us fighting one of the endgame bosses in Batania. So I feel like that would be a really good reward after going through that entire mod. But as I'm thinking about this more, we want to do mods, but I don't want to keep making this a temporary little base area. And I keep thinking about this, and I really don't like this being a temporary base area. I want to start this little pirate cove. So, you know, I'm looking around, and I kind of um, hinted at this in episode one, but I want to do a little bit of, like, a steampunky pirate cove. I know that sounds insane, but hold on, bear with me. Let's get some on factory. I think it requires stone, doesn't it? It does require stone. Okay, let's smelt up some uh, cobblestone and then we'll get into a bit. So I'm going to throw these in here and I'm going to let them process and then I will be right back. All right, guys. So I went ahead and grabbed a few resources. So the main thing that I'm settled on is this ironwood. Now this is from Rustic. Or the mod Rustic. And I like it because the wood looks, it, it looks like grimy old wood. And I think the log itself is a very nice contrast to that. Now what I want to mix into there is some steampunky things. Now these are factory blocks. Oh, I should explain this. The factory blocks, I showed you how to make these. This is just a diamond chisel. You can use this to change a lot of vanilla blocks around into different textures. And this was created with just a diamond and a stick. Super easy to make. And then basically you can right click into the air and you can throw a block into there. And we've got all these options for factory blocks. The main one that I'm leaning towards is this rusty plate. Though I will play around with a couple of these. Like that also looks good. Maybe even there. You know, like we're just going to have to look around and choose a few that look interesting. That's just a metal box. I can see that looking good. Yeah, then we go ahead and I'm just going to toss these down right next to this. And we got to try to figure out a good decision. And that looks kind of rusted and I like it. But I think it's too, there's too many light bits is my issue with that. Actually, let's do a two by two because a lot of these are connected. You'll see different textures if you do that. I do like this one because I feel like that goes really well with that wood. Look at the fact, let's look at this one. Now that's kind of more of a mesh. I could see that being used in certain parts. I feel like that goes with both of these really well. And then we have this standard one, which looks like that. And again, I feel like this is a good supporting texture. But I feel like it's in between one of these two as the main texture. And I'm leaning more towards this one. Just because how it matches, though. I think we might still use this one in certain parts. We might even use this in places where um places that are super close to the water here because i think that would be really cool and if you haven't noticed i need a lot of iron wood so i just have trees planted everywhere here so yeah i think that's what i'm gonna go for but we have a few things we gotta do to this place before we completely start building well i guess technically we gotta start building before we can do everything to this place but what i would need to do is this whole ground area in here we need to remove it we need to make it water because i want to make this a little rickety town that's precariously like placed on top of the water here and i want to play around with like these rusty looking blocks a lot you know i want to mix them in here but i want it to be like the pirates came here and they quickly had to settle so there's like ramshackle things set up here 
So I want to bring the water in, which means that I'm going to have to terraform a lot of this out. That was a little bit long. I spread that over, spread that out over the course of a night and a morning. That was a fair amount of grinding to get that all done. Now it's the morning. I got a little bit more energy. I can do stuff. I was processing sand. That way I could fill in all this because that used a ridiculous amount of sand. Now I could even start doing auto input and turn most of this into glass and such. Because that would be pretty nice. So now that we've got this all filled in, I built this little platform here to test the style. And my goodness, I love how it looks. It looks so cool to me. The main thing that I need to figure out is some sort of little support thing because that doesn't look like it's supported that much. Though we could come in here and we could add another little support pillar. Uh, let's get the factory blocks. I'm thinking, yeah, somewhere like right here would be a good place. No, let, hmm. Should I make it look nice and put one here? Right where it joins up to the mountain almost. If we look around there, I think it looks pretty okay. Let's go look from the other side and see if we can add any more over here as well. Hmm. I mean, I'll put one there. Probably not going to see it all that much, but it's the small details that matter. And then I did end up using different blocks for underneath here where it hits the water. Because it adds a cool little rusted look, and I think it bleds quite well once the water hits it. It looks rusted, and I really like that look. Same thing with the pillow over there. It touches it only for a block, but it looks pretty nice. So yeah, as I'm looking about this place, I love the feeling that we have going on. The main thing that I dislike is all of the torches. Because I think the darkness around here adds a lot of atmosphere. Or, yeah, having the darkness around here adds a lot of atmosphere to the area. So I was thinking, how could we get away with this? And one answer is the Mega Torch. Mega Torch, it prevents naturally spawning hostile mobs at a decent radius around the torch. I believe it's 32 or 64 block radius. But regardless, that's a lot of... It's a lot less torches than we would need in here. So I want to make one of these, and I'll probably end up making a second one at some point once I figure out the actual radius. But the crafting recipe is diamond, torch, wood, and gold block. Block, diamond, and I just put away my torches. There's torches. And let's just get some oak wood there. So if we do that. Oh, wait, no, I need the gold blocks. What am I doing? Come on. Do do do. All right, that, boom, we got a mega torch. For now, I'm just gonna throw this down right here. But now what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna punch out all these torches. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back here. So yeah, I think this looks a lot better than having all those torches everywhere. Got our nice water coming in now. And I was thinking, I want to do his little supports for underneath here, but I wasn't... Like, there's no walls or fences with any of this kind of stuff. So I was thinking that we should get into architecture. Basically what this does is any shape that you see in here, you can make it out of any block in the game. And I love this idea. So let's see, we want the architect saw bench. So we need iron, large pulley, oak pressure plate. It's just wood, wood. Okay, so it's wood and iron is what I'm getting from this. Mm, we do. Let's go ahead and get some jungle because it really doesn't matter. Then we need some sticks. We need some wood. Okay, so let's go into here. Let's get the, oh, we need slabs. There, boom. Tank it out of there. Okay, we got the large pulley. Oh, fresh plate. We got that. I'm assuming it's not just a no pressure plate because that would be dumb. But we'll see. Got one of those. 
it is just an elf pressure plate. Oh no. Okay, that's not an issue. We will pass that in there. We need the rest of this, and then let's go ahead and get. Trying to see if we had any just oak wood in there that I could use. No obsidian. Oh yeah, I chopped down the nether portal from over there in the bottom of the base area. That's why I have the obsidian. Okay, architect's tail. Or saw bench, I guess. So yeah, how this works is that I can look around, and I can look at windows, or I can look there, I can say railings, other, classical, old approaches, roofs, other. Don't want any of this, though we might want some stairs. Not sure how stairs will look. Railing. With mule. Oh, that's a big, that's a large center one. Okay. Now I'm kind of new to this, but I just want to take a look. Let's try one of those, one of these. And then let's just see how they look. I feel like I'm probably going to need an end, yeah. That. Okay, let's try these. So let's see. Work. That does, I, hmm, I do like that. I do like that a lot. I actually do think the large middle piece is important there. Hey, ooh, no, I didn't want that. Let's do... Huh. Where a flight would come in handy. There we go. There. And then we want an end piece. So like that and that. You know, I kind of like it. It does add that little aspect of support. Though those end pieces, I'm not the biggest fan of. Hmm. Ooh, I want to try something else. I want to try doing it with the logs. The uh, ironwood logs that we have here. So let's see. Where did I put all of our iron wood? There it is. So yeah, so let's go into here and let's do iron wood. I just want to see how these look. So we got that one. And then we've got that one. Yeah, looking at this, I do like these ones more. Yeah, whatever. Uh, do you use... No, you need an axe. Got my lumber axe. I need to make a normal axe. I really do, but I'm lazy. And they don't drop, I guess? Okay. So yeah, let's go ahead and get these. I oh, know, these are the same ones. Oh, I used all of the factory block ones. Okay. We will make more. Um, yeah. Let's... This is factory block. Okay. I don't really like the ends of them. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. Grab a couple of these. And boom, boom. There you go. Stuff like that. Mm. Boom, boom. Boom. 
Let's go do the one in the corner. Probably just use a single so that. Uh oh. Okay. Thought my game crashed. It didn't crash. Yeah, I like how that looks. That's really cool. And you know. No. So the fences up above, I'm probably going to make out of the ironwood, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Let's get that. Let's get that. I think it would look really cool to go ahead and go along there. I don't know. When would you use... There's like a, it's a, it has a thicker post in it. Maybe like a two gap in between? Maybe? I know that not everything's going to be even and not everything's going to be odd, but remember they're like pirates that are building this place. They're not the smartest people. Yeah, I like how that looks. And then let's go ahead. This is the newel, so one, two... Oh, no, we start it. No, yeah. Just go ahead and break that and boom. Yeah, so boom. Boom, boom. Now I'll make some corners real quick. Let's throw these in the chest because I'm not going to eat them right now. Yeah, let's make some corners. Just a couple of them. And then... Couple more of these. These. For now, let's just go over here. Pop that down. Wait, are these are these the factory block ones that I've been placing down? No, they're ironwood. They just look Those are the factory block ones. Oh. Uh, apparently I like how the factory block ones look. Okay. I guess we're doing this out of factory blocks. Because the wood ones looked way too dark. Uh, actually, I have another idea. Let's break that. Okay. Server is having issues right now, apparently. Yeah, okay. Cool. Okay, now it broke. I want to try doing it out of the ironwood planks. Because that might be a nice contrast from a distance. I don't think I have any of the planks left. No. No, we don't. Okay, and did I leave them in here? Yeah, I did. Okay, so let's pop down a couple of these. And then boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Be more than enough. Yeah, those do pop right away, which I like. Boom. Saying boom a lot this weekend. Or the, today. Why did I say this weekend? It's Monday. That's strange. Okay, there. Boom. And there. And then we just need a couple corners yeah I do think I like how that looks and I'll probably add on a roof to this as well just because yeah but yeah I do like how that little platform looks and then on each one of these little platforms we're going to have it kind of um dig into the mountainside so there would be a little like hut almost in the mountainside there 
Yeah, I think that's going to look pretty cool. Okay, okay. Hmm. I'm going to check how long I've been recording for, and we might do a little bit more of this episode. All right, guys. I just checked the footage, and we're coming on a little bit over... 20 minutes and then I have to add in the time lapse for it and everything so I'm probably going to end up calling the episode here um I will say come to next episode prepared to jump right into some mods we're going to be doing a deep dive into Batania next episode in between episodes I'm going to do a little bit of a build for Batania what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple more of these platforms around here and make each one with a purpose and somewhere up there I want to go ahead and make a platform that leads into a large cave. Inside that cave is like a mystical magical forest. And there's like a waterfall that you have to walk through in order to get into it. I think that would look pretty cool. Um, I'll play around with it and then you guys will see next episode. Anyways, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And again, if you want to get onto here and you want to play with me and the crew, feel free just to support the Patreon down in the description down below. It goes a fantastically long way. And it helps me produce more videos on a daily basis, helps update the server and run it more efficiently. Uh, yeah. Run it more efficiently. Efficiency. More efficiently. I can speak, I swear. Anyways, I will see you guys later. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe. Bye-bye.